Welcome back to the series that always tries to do life skilling but fails miserably. My name is Teddy for those of you who are new and for everyone returning, we all know gathering is needed for most of all of the life skills and it's something I enjoy more in the game. So I'll be gathering scorpion meat and stone cobra meat to show you how much I can make while gathering those cooking ingredients. Get those butcher knives ready and let's start gathering those meats to cook. Today I'm back in the Shira runes to start collecting scorpion and cobra meat to be used for cooking. This isn't going to be the usual area I'm used to so this is going to be a little interesting but of course if it is something that can be gathered I'm going to be there. These meats are great for cooking the freak of snake stews, cuckoos and the grilled scorpion for artisan cook boxes but of course they can be sold on their own and I tend to manually gather what is needed so I won't have to touch the central market. So if you're ready to see how much I can make gathering snake and scorpion meat out here in the Shira runes. Let's get this gear on and start buffing up to start gathering. Here's my gathering mastery and the gear that I'll be using if you're interested. Starting out, killing these can be a little confusing with where they are, but using the knowledge and targeting them will single them out and make this easier. While out here, killing the stone boars is a nice way to add some pork to the shopping list. Since I will be relying on all the rare drops butchering these will give me another chance to get a fragment or a shark. Originally, I never even knew you can gather the scorpions out here or there were scorpions, so this is a nice change. I'm not too concerned about the scorpions here since I don't need to make the artisan boxes, but the meat can be sold for a nice amount depending on when I decide to sell them. But we'll see how the sales are looking after I get to out and then start listing these things. Really fast, comment down below if you come out here or head to Gorgo Rock. I've collected out in the desert and Gorgo a lot before and this is my first time out here. While you're down there, be sure to leave a like if you're enjoying the life skilling content on the channel. All the support is appreciated and will help the channel grow. Back to gathering, this is a great way of collecting those black gem fragments and spirit dust. As always, I have my tent ready to repair anything and with my storage maids ready, I won't have to deal with the lack of weight limit. Maybe I can get lucky and get a sharp alchemy stone of life, but for now, it's the Khan's heart and the blue grade life spirit stones. If I can make at least 300 mil, it would be nice, but let's see how much I can really make. I've made sure to have some energy tonics just in case I run out of energy and I have turning gates on just to help me relieve that. Since I always get comments on I should be making meals and meals only, coming out here and gathering these ingredients is a perfect way to show you just what's needed for those Valencia meals. Cooking can call for a lot of ingredients. So, coming out here to manually gather, and with a higher mastery, you can make more money getting the ingredients for the dishes themselves than actually selling them. As an hour comes around, here is what I was able to gather, but just to show you how much more you can make for gathering the rare drops, it's back to gathering for that last hour of my seafood crons meal. Right now, selling the fragments will make less than usual, but these can be saved for when the prices come back up, but I will have a nice amount for when that happens, and I'll just keep checking every day. It's been a while since I've had to gather scorpions or snakes, so it's a little nostalgic. It reminds me of when the game first came out in North America. Did you guys stop doing this, or do you sometimes find yourself doing this from time to time? Gathering levels so much slower and getting to Guru feels like it's going to take a while even with all the life skill experience buffs I have on. If you guys haven't gotten one of your Kaffir journals of nature yet, go ahead and click the video in the corner here. That'll go ahead and show you how to get that plus 10% life experience. Maybe one day I'll get up there, but for now it's just master gathering for me. With my seafood crons meal coming to an end, it is time to head back to Elton and see how much can be made. Hopefully it was worth coming out here, but let's go find out. 
Now that I'm here in Elton, it's time to start listing everything and seeing the millions start to roll in. Starting out with the snake meat, listing it, I was able to make 189 mil. The scorpion meat will make about 48 mil, which is kind of sad. The pork, if you choose to gather it, can make at least 36 mil. It wasn't the real focus here. The black gem fragments right now will make about 92 mil if I choose to sell them. And as for the sharps and hards, the sharps made 10.6 mil and the hards made 22.4 mil. Finally after changing the dust into cafras, I was able to make about 54 mil. All of this together will make a total of 460 mil which was more than I thought I was going to be able to make. I would come out here again just to do this for the rares alone. I hope this helps you start making those dishes and speed up leveling cooking. This is a nice way to start making silver and should not be taken as the best money making guide out there. This was just to show you how much I can make while being out there collecting meat for cooking. You should just enjoy the game at your own pace. If you want to see another way to make money in Black Desert Online or just want to level those life skills, click this video here. And I will see you in another episode of Life of a Shy where we start gathering Tef out in Valencia.